welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. It's that we're doing Benchmark Top Floor. Absolutely. That may be confusing to some people because I don't think I've ever seen another Top Floor labeled bourbon. So there's the top shelf and then there's the top floor. So if you guys have been familiar with our uh, channel for a long time, we did do a tour of Benchmark. And this was discussed in the tour pretty heavily. Um, They're very, very adamant about it. So they rotate their bourbon out, but generally they spend majority of the time either the top, bottom, or middle, wherever. They're going to spend time on a different place. Yeah, they'll now at the move very top, around a bit. At the very top of the Rick House is going to be the hottest point. Um, so that is where all the heat is. So The, the most gonna, drastic temperature changes yeah. happen up there. At the bottom, you're going to be the most consistent, and it's going to be the coolest at the bottom. In the middle, you, you know, you're know, you literally somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. So uh, being top floor, meaning this is on the very top, meaning it's going to get exposed to the most heat, um, and it's going to affect those barrels. So um, I'm expecting this to be very, very woody. I wonder if that's just what they're calling it, or if it actually came... From barrels that were only on the top floor of the Rick House. I'm guessing it probably did, but keep in mind they don't put age statements on benchmark. That's true. Um, but if you remember correctly, um, he said it was about. They said it was about five years, which is makes sense for benchmark. Because mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace is what seven. And it's it's fifteen dollar bottle, so I imagine it's going to be a uh, a longer age. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna say it's. Now I'm guessing, but I'm gonna say this is probably a five year Buffalo Trace. What seven and then. Um, well, Igor is like, what, eight or nine? Or it, well, the, the ones that come out of the, the base are just like, they'll taste it until they're like, yeah, that's ready. I think this one's ready to go. And and, and then they'll start to blend it. Uh, they're kind of weird the way that they the way that they select their barrels. But, uh, you know, that's like part a, of the reason uh, that people enjoy the, the company. Natural, like a natural honey color? Uh, yeah. Um, it's. I think this one's a little bit lighter. It's not as hot as the uh, last one we did. That's no. for sure. Uh, it's very, um, very oaky. Uh, a little it vanilla in there. Smells a little bit like honey. Like mm. the honey sweetness. Yeah, read that little thing down at the bottom. Uh, it says, "Oh, bourbon matures at the top of the warehouse tends to get um, aged faster as heat rises." So they're saying it's might be a five year, but it should taste like an older bourbon. I'm guessing that's mm. really good. Uh, this top floor Kentucky straight bourbon is smooth, well-rounded, uh, and should be enjoyed straight or with ice uh, or in your favorite cocktail. A little bit like black pepper, like mm -hmm. black pepper corns. When I you see first that. open a little tin of them that you buy. It's spicy. It's sweeter than the other one. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's It's not... Like there's an alcohol burn to it, yes, but it's it's spicy. It's surprisingly smoother. It's not much of a burn there. Mm -hmm. Um, it's oaky. It's, it's sweeter than your sweeter than the small batch. Um, a little vanilla in there. It's still muted, but again, it is a sub twenty dollar bottle of bourbon. Oh, very oaky. Mm hmm. Very, very oaky. There's a ton of wood in this. Maybe that's what the spiciness is. I will go ahead and say that I'm happy with this one. It tastes kind of like brown pepper, too. Brown pepper? Black, Black pepper. pepper. I don't know what a brown little bit. pepper is. I can is. see what you're saying there. So, yeah, uh, it doesn't have the leatheriness like the previous ones we've mm -hmm. had. No. Um, it's, very tr it's more traditional. I wouldn't say it tastes any older or younger. I just say it's, it's pretty smooth. I think this um, is better. In every way, than the small previous, than the, the small, small batch. batch, yes. But do you think it's better than regular benchmark? I'm gonna say yes, slightly. This is better than regular benchmark. I yes. agree, slightly. Uh, well, it depends. Do you like that uh, that sour flavor uh, oh, of sour, of sour mash. mash? Yeah, it doesn't matter because me. this doesn't have nearly as much. Well, I've met, it's had more time. Uh, I guess the heat has melted it out some. Could I don't know. And also, I'm not a bourbon tier. I'm assuming this has been, um, you know, it's probably bottled. Pr pretty recently because this is pretty new to Kentucky. Yeah. But and now the there past, isn't anymore. The past two or three summers have been very hot. Uh, and then we have had very mild winters. So mm -hmm. meaning this has had a lot of time in the heat and no cold weather. So lots of time to sweat the barrels, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I honestly that's odd. This is this is less expensive than a small batch. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give this a straight this is a something I could honestly just sit and sip. 
And uh, I'll give this a. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven. I'm solid, gonna... solid bourbon. I'm gonna go with an eight. Okay. Price is good. The price is very good. That's that's true. I didn't have a problem getting it, but after I bought it, I never saw it. I like they put a, when I was getting it, they put a ton out, and the guy was like, "Oh, you're smart to get all these." He's like, "Why? Because they'll be gone by the end of the day." Uh, so. I've tried. I've tried to go and get some of the other ones that we mm -hmm. have. Uh, they're, they, they don't, they don't exist anymore. I have all of them. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if they're going to get restocked. There's no more of these. Well, once we're done doing all our videos with this, you could take a few bottles home. I appreciate Your choice. Mm. Definitely the small batch. I don't know if I want the small batch. <laughs> we'll, we'll give that, that we'll feed give that, that one to Mingo. Yeah. Ah, that smell though. Very oaky, very vanilla on the mixer. Very vanilla. Ooh, yeah. So very vanilla. That is delicious. That almost tastes like flavored Coke instead of a mixed drink. I didn't think it was going to get any better. It's a tiny bit earthy, but not so earthy it tastes like dirt. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's got that musty, musty sort of scent taste. It sort of tastes like a Rick House scent smells. slash taste. Yeah. You go in there, you smell it. That's sort of what this That is accurate. That's weirdly accurate. Uh, I think I wasn't gonna. I didn't think it was gonna be a better mixer, but I'm gonna go with a half point higher. I'm gonna go eight and a half as a mixer. Um, I think they're correct. I think if we had the, I would think if we had it with the ice straight, one cube of ice, uh, or with this mixer like we use Coke here, it is very good. What are you gonna give it as a mixer? I do think it is better as a mixer than it is straight. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight as a mixer. Still, price is really good. Mm -hmm. Flavor is pretty good. It's, it's pretty fantastic. So I'm enjoying it. We've done two so far, and this is the best. So mm -hmm. now the question is, after we do them all, we'll be able to tell them apart in a blind taste test. Oh, don't put that kind of pressure on me. Well, I feel like <laughs> we have to, I legitimately would have to sip on it a, at least a while, oh. each one individually, to really get a feel for each one. What we should do, we should drink them blind, and then rate which one is better, and then bring out the bottles with price tags on them. Yeah. Like, this one was... Fifteen dollars, and this one was twenty-five. Did it taste like it was twenty-five dollars? Yeah, maybe. We'll figure it out since we finished reviewing all these. <laughs> we have a lot to review. So there's four, so many. So four more to review. So, um, but yeah, I'm happy that these came out. Like I said, they came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting them. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody on the they channel. They didn't even like. They didn't even like announce that they were going to be giving to be selling these. They just sort of did it. There was supposedly a lot of hype in the in the bourbon community. You know, we need to go back to Buffalo Trace. We also, because I need a bottle of Blanc. So good luck. Well, actually, no. If you go there, if they, you want a bottle of Blanc, I know where to get bottles of Blanc at. Well, well, so do I. But you need to get me one then. Uh, well, you can get bottles of Blanc at Buffalo Trace, but they put them out every hour. Remember, you have to stand. Oh yeah, that's there. true. You got to stand in line. Yeah, they put them out. It's like buying hour. a Harley. We they they took us to the bottling line, which is where they don't take people and let us go back there and like film and watch. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yeah, these are just bottles that are going out there and to they be sold. They literally sell immediately. So they said, just all, absolutely the, they said insane. all the stuff they bottle at night is what goes out to the stores. I can't remember what shirt I was wearing, but one of the bottling line people, the lady, were like. Followed us out, like ran after us, and gave me a Blanton's horse bottle stopper. Yeah, some horse. And was like, "This is for you because your shirt's awesome." I was like, "It says I don't like people on it." It was like, it yeah, said something about me not liking people in general. It's a shame I had to pull that review, but that was because Catfish doesn't know how to hold the camera. So, <laughs> well, see, it's, he it's so fine. he wears glasses and he didn't bring his glasses <laughs> to the trip. So he said he said everything was in focus. That's happened more than once, though. And the entire two and a half hour filming session was completely out of focus, <laughs> like like not even savable. Well, we just focus, have to like. we just have to get a get a lens of his glasses copied for every single person who watches the video and mail it out. That way they can look at it through the lens and watch the video. It's like uh, it's like a secret fan club. That's it. and that is why I only do the. Camera like recording. having a secret decoder ring. Or, <laughs> a la Catfish. Or when you let Mingo hold our $120 tripod, he leaves it in Asheville, North Carolina. That's, it's fine. Someone then, got a really nice tripod. Yeah. Like Christmas early. Yeah. 
All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks for watching. Do you need to take a BM? <laughs>